uh, I, I want to share something about uh, that happened in China, the lesson experience we in China, and also the uh, future we plan for the open access repository in China. Uh, the topic we have about, about uh, open repository from open repository to open scholar communication. I will give uh, something about uh, the uh, open repository in China and the opportunity for open uh, uh, repository and also the, uh, what we have done, what we are planning for from open access report to open scholar communication. Yeah. And I will give a brief uh, conclusion. Uh, the Chinese Academy of Science uh, is uh, uh, a, a very large uh, institute that we have, in fact, we have uh, uh, more than 100 institutes in China, uh, and uh, we a lot of uh, person um, and uh, student. Most of them are doctor candidate. And uh, for uh, six years, top uh, nature index. Yeah, it's uh, uh, Chinese Academy of Science and uh, half of uh, Max Planck Society. Yeah. So a lot of. Uh, um, literature and a lot of paper have produced by China and the uh, Chinese Academy of Science. And uh, we, we, National Science Library, Chinese Academy of Science, we have uh, more than 500 staff headquartered in Beijing. And we also have a Chen, uh, Chengdu in southwest of China and uh, Wuhan in central part of China. Yeah. Uh, uh, in Chinese Academy of Science, we have built about more than 100 IR have been set up and uh, uh, by the research institute and we, uh, the National Science Library of Chinese Academy of uh, Science provide the software guidance and the service provider uh, to, to that. And uh, the repository is uh, indexed by Open Door and uh, Base. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have also set up an uh, uh, aggregator uh, aggregator, we may name the Chinese uh, chaos, uh, IR grid, and we have uh, more than uh, eight, mm, 80, <laughs> so, the 800 uh, items and the four, uh, 600 uh, full text paper could be downloaded. And uh, we can see uh, most of the download is outside the Chinese Academy of Science. Yeah. And we, uh, with uh, uh, including with the uh, outside the Chinese Academy of Science, we uh, working with the university in and outside China mainland. Uh, in uh, we produced China Open Research Cloud. Uh, this is uh, about uh, uh, some AI registered, and the item is more than one hundred. Yeah. And uh, we uh, produce uh, software, uh, uh, C-Space. C-Space is an uh, uh, enhanced Chinese version of D-Space. And uh, it's also a soft, uh, open source software where we uh, develop the interface, user interface, and we it's, uh, support the mobile, and uh, support uh, uh, calculation for statistic, uh, usage statistic, something like that, yeah. Uh, the problem is that also uh, we find is that also the uh, submission rate of the uh, article is uh, up, but uh, the usage, the access rate from is uh, coming down. I don't know where is the reason. Uh, but uh, uh, this is a, a challenge for us that uh, uh, we want to know. Or in fact, a uh, lot of person in this room is uh, talk about. Uh, do we still have an opportunity in developing OI report in Google world? This is a, a big question for us. And uh, I think we will try to uh, answer this question. And uh, we uh, learn, do something, uh, learning something from <laughs> lots of world. Uh, in fact, I think it is uh, from the very beginning of the OI movement, the opportunity uh, are always with us. Uh, it's not uh, in uh, develop the soft, uh, software, uh, uh, um, collect the data, but it's lying scholarly communication. Uh, I think it's uh, especially lying the changing scholarly communication because nowadays the scholarly communication are changing from the journal central model to alternative one. 
that's me. Uh, uh, I, um, uh, in all the time, the uh, scientists uh, do the submit the uh, article in journal, and the scholar communication is based on journal. But now uh, everything is uh, changing. Uh, in fact, uh, from early this century, many scholars have recognized and predicted that the revolution change will be happening in scholar communication. Uh, I will show you some examples. This is example is uh, uh, this guy. He, he predicted the transformation of uh, scientific communication a model for uh, 20 years ago. It's a model, for, yeah, 2020. And uh, in his uh, paper, he 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 some. He, uh, he, he thank the blueprint and the journal while working together to build a, a scholar communication. Uh, and uh, yeah, we have spark a colleague here. The spark is all we want to do is igniting change in scholar communication. Yeah, and we also noticed that uh, Susan also uh, wrote a paper that a global change in scholar communication. Yeah. Uh, but until recently, until recently, the change in scholar communication are became more and more a reality. Uh, uh, well, I want to show you something about uh, the change in scholar communication I have been recognized and realized. This is a uh, uh, science breakthrough. It's every year it uh, uh, um, it uh, uh, list. Uh, 10, ten cents about the breakthrough of the year. Uh, in, 2000, in last year, the bio, bio preprint takeoff is analyst in the breakthrough of the year in Science Magazine. Yeah. Uh, it, it's a, about the bio recover. Uh, the bio recover is launched in Cold Spring and in just in this year. Uh, but uh, uh, every month, uh, about uh, uh, um, one, more than 1,000 paper have been posted into the uh, bio-recover. Uh, um, compared to archive, it's uh, <laughs> archive, I, every, uh, every day about uh, uh, more than 500 paper have been uh, posted in uh, archive. But uh, uh, Ronald, the, he, he said it's an uh, amazing change since have been happening. <laughs> he predicted that uh, bio-recover will be a major change in uh, communication. So it's an analyst at the breakthrough of the year by the Science Magazine. And we also noticed that a lot of uh, preprint service have been set up recent year. Uh, this archive is uh, this year, and the SSIN, BioRecover, MedScience, and a lot of Excaver has been booming recent year. And uh, the early swell, early swell is a publisher. Uh, he acquired uh, uh, SSI, Social Science Research Network, building, yeah. Uh, in, but uh, uh, when Alice Swell buys the SSI, uh, it's uh, expanded to uh, important uh, research areas such as biology and uh, chemistry, yeah. Uh, we can say a new network, or research network, uh, bio research network, chemistry research network, not uh, stick to the uh, social science research network. Yeah, they can, they can become to engineer, bio biology, chemistry, something. Yeah, yeah go quickly. And we also uh, noticed that fund agency accept preprint in project application and report. Uh, this is a uh, NIH is is proved. Use the preprint in NIH application and report. Yeah. Uh, in 2000, yeah, he also in last year. A lot of re, uh, funding agencies uh, 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 accept preprint. Yeah, this is Wellcome Trust, and this is a research council of UK. Yeah. Uh, we also noticed that in addition to preprint, many varied model of scholar communication has, uh, has, uh, has uh, been used, not just a journal central model, uh, in data, data archive, data repository, data set, data portal, uh, social science, uh, social network, research gate, uh, social storage, slides, shared, something, a lot of things have been, a yeah, lot of uh, have used. 
Uh, and we also noticed uh, that uh, Liberi, a social of European research uh, library, uh, he uh, has uh, in his uh, strategy, uh, strategy uh, to, to, to 2022, uh, he said uh, innovation scholar communication platform for innovation communication is a three pillar. One of the three pillar pillar of um, this uh, uh, association. So it's very important to yeah. Uh, also, you know, two, two days uh, yesterday we noticed that uh, European Commission is trying to fund a uh, open research publishing platform. Uh, it's a free and fast publishing possible, not just for peer review paper, but also the preprint. Uh, so uh, there is a, a lot of organization and uh, uh, institute are uh, under the funding agency and care about the scholar communication, the changes in scholarly communication. Yeah. So in uh, Chinese Academy of Science, or what I try to do is try to uh, bring the OI report to open scholar communication. Uh, uh, try to uh, build an open scholar communication environment for research and student uh, to enhance the research institute into an open, uh, open scholarly communication environment. Yeah. Uh, this is an institute repository we try to and in, uh, get the article written by Chinese artists uh, uh, after embargo, yes, uh, uh, embargo period, and we use the uh, SWH loot service to get uh, Chinese article uh, back. And also, we have selected a high quality international journal, uh, OI, OI repository. And uh, after, uh, on top of it, we build a print printing server based on China, Kava. China cover. And uh, we uh, also build a publishing platform for journal for CIS. Because Chinese Academy of uh, uh, Science uh, have uh, about uh, 300 uh, uh, journals. So we build a publishing platform for them. Yeah. And uh, we also try to uh, build a social science network service based on uh, I also platform yeah, we build us. So we, were, we try to build a open sport communication open uh, for uh, scientists and uh, students in Chinese Academy of Science. This is a uh, switch route that uh, uh, collect an article written by Chinese uh, scientists publishing international journal after a big embargo period. Yeah, they just uh, get the article from the uh, publisher and uh, the uh, dismiss it to the uh, uh, institution repository, yeah. And we have a GoI repository that uh, select open uh, access journal, collect article from in this high quality journal and uh, provide a service uh, with uh, uh, institution repository. And we build a, a publishing platform, uh, develop uh, and run a unified publish platform for more than uh, uh, 100 kilo of journal in Chinese Academy of Science. Uh, this uh, journal, uh, they are, uh, in fact, uh, it's a free access, but uh, not uh, uh, always OA. Uh, yeah, they some are OA, some are non OA, but uh, it's a free access in China. Yeah, and we also build the social network service based on I also. Yeah. Uh, last one is uh, China Kaiba. China Kaiba is uh, we have built, we have learned a lot of from uh, uh, archive in Cornell University. Uh, yeah. uh, so uh, it's uh, last, uh, it's launched in 2000, uh, 2016. Yeah. <laughs> Try to build a national print service infrastructure in China, and we accept a scholar print in Ch uh, English or Chinese, and we a uh, lot of field uh, in natural science. And we learn uh, from the archive, we uh, have the government model, and we have a, a quality control mechanism. Uh, to, uh, and we promotion and cooperation with uh, research, 
academic association and research institute and university and job pub publish and uh, other platform. Yeah. And we also, this is an example we're working with the Institute of Psychology in Chinese Academy of Science to build a psychology preprint platform for this institute. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, till now we have about uh, uh, 10,000 uh, paper. Uh, manuscript uh, submitted, yeah, in uh, major in physics, biology, and uh, uh, something like that, like that. Yeah. Concluding is that uh, uh, changes in scholar communication is an opportunity for open access repository. And the open access, uh, from point of my view, the open access repository should not be a warehouse of data but a stage for scientists and students, a stage for scientists and students to uh, let them to disseminate the funding, share the research result, exchange the idea, make friends and uh, communicate and uh, cooperation. Uh, and uh, of course, I think we have a long way to go. Uh, thank you for your attention.